So talent gravity. Now we've got so many organizations out there offering left, right and center. These are the benefits that we want to do. And they, they brought in brought it to our shores. Yeah? Google, they've given, you know, pool tables right in the middle of the office, bean bags, food, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's come from the it's imported uh, uh, <coughs> it's imported from the US, but Malaysian organizations are into it also. Yeah? But how do we compete? How do organizations like us compete against what the, the barrage of things that are coming from overseas in terms of what they think uh, is important? Now, in, in NBO, we talk about talent gravity to a degree. Talent gravity is the ability for you to attract talent and retain them, just like gravity. But we don't use the word magnet. Yeah? I mean, some, uh, I heard this morning we use the word magnets a lot. But talent gravity is very similar, except that here is the ability for us to engage and retain them. Now, in order for us to do talent gravity very well, I think uh, some of the speakers earlier this morning started to talk about, you need to have purpose. You need to have purpose about the organization. What is the organization all about? What is the vision of the organization? What is the mission of the organization? And people need to be clear. The talent in the field, it needs to be clear as to what you're trying to do in the organization. What is the purpose? What is your purpose in life that you want? Second point is about meaning. I think Hetal spoke about meaning. Here, meaning talks about the value system in the organizations that you want. What are the core values in, in, uh, in the organization that you want? Yeah, I remember the old IBM, based on my generation, uh, Warren. Old IBM only had three core values. One, respect for the individual. Two, you do the best that you can. And three, you do the best for the customer. Yeah? And that was it. Already in there, I saw employee engagement, respect for the individual. And that is, that is great. But IBM has changed. Yeah? They've changed uh, the core values. But when Thomas Watson started to, to, to Thomas Watson Jr. started to write his book called A Business and Its Beliefs, he wrote about these three values. And I thought, wow, this is great. When I read that book, I said, wow, I, you know, I'm so, this is the, the company that I want to work with because it's got the right values, yeah? the meaning in terms of what it means to me. The third area is about impact. It's about if I work for this organization, that, will it impact society? Will it impact me? Will it impact you know, the nation? So people are starting to look at impact. Yeah? Not only the external impact, but also internal. Are you going to recognize me? What are the rewards, etc.? Yeah? And finally, growth. Yeah? This is what career, career management. Are you going to challenge me? Is the succession planning in, in the right place? How do I grow in this organization? If we can get these four, one, clarity of purpose, two, the right corporate values and beliefs, three, the impact, the rewards that I can get, four, the growth that you can give me, there is a high chance that employees will be engaged and there's a high chance that they will retain, remain in your organization.